Hello, Uwe George here. Hello, Gearspace audience. Nice to have you here. I'd like to introduce you to our instruments. Look, have a look to our fantastic Eurorack system. So we are around two years on the market and have a couple of interesting models. You can see here, I know a lot of cables as well, like everywhere here at the Masked Boost this year. So let's see what we have. I come from the left. This is a new model. This is a free channel headphone uh, model which delivers excellent sound quality with independent volumes for each channel, linkable channels like here. And also we have um, stereo and mono uh, working system here. Also we have multiple. So the signal comes in and we can let it further to a mixer like here. This signal goes to the mixer as well. So we can have a pre-listen via headphone as well we hear the other speakers. So. Uh, important is this this system has protection relays so you you be sure that uh, soft stars and these protection is given for all the headphones you put in as well support for all kinds of headphones from 16 ohm to 500 or whatever you have in the box next to Carpo is Himalaya Himalaya is here this is a, a very various model which delivers uh, up to five different independent sounds like white noise, pink noise, blue noise, very easily via a knob. This is analog noise, but we put in an expander uh, so it sounds really digital, distorted, square wave like this unit here. You can listen here, but I have to patch first because I want to show you the whole system, but we have excellent sound demos in the net on YouTube or at our SoundCloud site or whatever. So next, next is a digital noise here. You can change the rate as well. There is given a square wave out of this noise. So we have really funky, bassy square wave sounds really direct in the face. Next section is the sample section with two banks and we have uh, factory samples, short samples. You can have a, you have a wide range of tunes. We have ratchet function up to loop function and as well a 8-bit mode which uh, give really weird sounds. This is also interesting to, uh, to control CVs, especially in the low range. Actual, this is new. We have a second band you can upload from our site with cycle waves. So we have also kind of PPG-like waves and whatever. And last but not least, we have a six voice square wave section here. You can control by, by a tune and we have up to 16 presets and two banks. So all together we have 32 presets with drones, with unisono sounds, with, with chords. Also, we have a, a new bank we, you can upload from our site. So it's a really interesting model. You can make a track just with this model by its own. Next to that, we come to Sinope. This is a discrete two-channel and velocity style uh, VCA with excellent quality and offset. Uh, uh, sorry, offset parts. You can set the offset from very short and over the top, so up to drone sound. The, the good thing is the exponential section for velocity. So you can add it here, otherwise if you don't use it, just put it to, to maximum, like here. This is the VCA actual working here. This is the CV control by the envelope, and the next you can feed the CV to make velocity sounds. There's a second processor inside to guarantee absolute sound quality. Next to uh, Sinope is a Temisto. This was our first model. It's a very powerful VCO with a wide range of sounds, sub oscillator, really superb sinus sound, pulse wide modulation, sync, FM, linear and uh, exponential FM, sorry. 
and what I'm going to, and uh, LFO mode, and the tuning is uh, very stable over nine, ten octaves. This a moment we hear. This is the this is the the misto. Next to the misto, Oiporia. Oiporia is a low pass filter with three outputs, 24, 12, and 6 dB, and resonance distortion and gain to give them more drive, uh, resonance, and also CV controlled resonance, and high pass input filter, very clean. They uh, put the low, low frequency below 150 hertz, less. This is really cool for sounds, then not being muddy in combination with kick drums or bass lines. Not sure you hear it in the video because the sound is not so bassy. But it's a very functional and preset-like thing. A lot of jacks here to control CV, linear and exponential. Also a multiple that input comes out. For example, this, the envelope controls the uh, VCF and the multiple here goes out to control the VCA. Next to this, Spondy, Mr. Spondy, a two-channel Mixer with superb quality, single outs, and each channel has six channels. You can use it for CV, also for audio signals. And this is the good thing, the individual hours, hours you can use, for example, you just have one CV, put them out, and this gets subtracted from the master. If you want to keep it on the master, we have a jumper on the back, so the signal you put out from the individual hours get subtracted, not subtracted from the master. So it's up to you. Next to Sponder, we have something new. No, yes, we have one model left. Uh, Mrs. Pazipe. Pazipe is an experimental ring modulator with... Oh, sorry, we make, make a mod. Yeah, I know the melody is fantastic. We programmed with this appetizer. Pazipe is very interesting because there's a lot of modulation combinations here. Up, up to six CVs in can control each other. And we have also uh, in and out of the second channel here, the X channel controls everything. So we have a lot of samples on SoundCloud. So I can explain a lot about this, but this model is incredible, flexible, and, and can give a lot of different metallic, Joni, whatever sounds. Have a look at our website for this model. It, it would fill uh, half an hour to show what, what is possible with this. Now we come uh, to a new model. So please uh, keep your camera to the left. It's called Kalike. Kalike is a digital uh, generated envelope and LFO generator. So we say a dual function generator. So in a moment, this thing controls the filter. It's really good, scaled. Maybe I give a bit more resonance, you hear it better. It's very fast and very long, very slow. Really good with this 30 millimeter slider. And if you can hear. Really funky, and the curve we can change from exp exponential to linear, and maybe also to logarithmic at the end. So this is the plan for the next version. So I go back to normal sound. For each parameter, we have a CV in ADSR. So it can be controlled by CV, and we have a we have a loop function. So we can use it also as kind of LFO. So I go back to the normal sound. Then there is a ratchet function. 
Ratchet means the beginning of the attack. Uh, have repeats, short repeats, and I go uh, further with the attack, sh sh uh, longer repeats. This uh, function is not working now, but will be implemented in the final version. So I can't show you everything. We have plus and minus out and two trigger outs. End of attack, end of decay. You can trigger other modules or, or have sync signal for oscillators, whatever. It's up, up to your fantasy what you do with this. So, next uh, on the top we have the LFO. There is also not implemented fully, but I explain you what you can do with uh, the LFO. This is an endless potty. It starts, you see, with a sinus, goes to triangle, goes to, to ramp, goes to triangle again, goes to sawtooth and goes to PVM. This is morphing. This morphs the waves and morphs the uh, and shift the. Yeah, good. Now I I can't find my words. Uh, shift the face, thank you. Shift the face of the wave, of his waveform. So, it, and this one, this thing you can also uh, can be CV modulated. So it's really interesting uh, effects you can get with this. There's a very uh, uh, interesting thing is a fade in, but fade in is also only working if you give a trigger or um, a, a, a yeah trigger input to its. So we have a reset, and the LFO goes fade in. This is normally tempo speed. We have slow and fast. And this one is also a ratchet function. Goes from one shot, several shots, up to endless. And there's also uh, um, uh, 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 sorry. There's also a mode. If you put in trigger signal in inside, they have no effect of the LFO. So you don't have to put out the cable and inside. At least we have a shift, um, an offset shift from minus to plus, minus, uh, minus five volt to plus five volt, and you shift it from zero to 10 volt. This is important for envelopes or for all models that don't eat minus. So just with one knob. Last but not least, this mix uh, knob here at the end. So we have independent uh, outputs for envelope, uh, for envelope and LFO, and now we can set amount of the end of the LFO have effect of the envelope, so they can modulate the envelope itself. For sure, you can also use the output of LFO and modulate one of these. Also interesting effect. Yeah, this model will be out uh, this year in a couple of months, and uh, Frank will uh, tell us about the next mo model, Calicor, a six-voice FP FPGA-based oscillator bank. Yeah, thank you for listening, and see you next time. Yeah.